Check, please. You know, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you saw my score predictions, you, you, you knew this is going. It, I, I had this as a loss. It was like 31-24, something like that. Um, I knew this was going to be a loss. It's just, I'm frustrated with the fact of how we played. Um, yeah, I I didn't expect our defense to play very well. I was I had the the blind optimism that we can at least slow down Patrick Mahomes, but he twisted he he carved up our defense like it was Swiss cheese. It didn't help that we had Butterfinger tackling, barely getting any pressure on Mahomes. Whenever we did get pressure on him, he just scramble and like burn us for a good twenty plus yards. It's more of the fact that the offense cannot get anything going. Murray, I'll start with him. It was the entire team, but I'll start with Murray. Murray looked like garbage. I knew when we stalled on that, I knew when we stalled on that first drive, shit was about to hit the fan. And we weren't gonna we weren't be able gonna be able to catch up since. You could not stall on a first drive like that when playing against an explosive quarterback like Patrick Mahomes. It was it, it would have been a shootout. No. Those last 14 points we got would came from garbage time. If I, if I was bit well right now, if I was bit well right now, I'd be up in that, in that booth of his, ripping up both Kime and Kingsbury's five-year deal contract and tell him tomorrow or in that locker room today, earn it. Earn it. You saw... I I don't blame him too much for not playing our starters in preseason. Because I get it. Injuries happen. But you have to at least start Murray. It's obvious the dude's not studying. He, I get it's week one. I get it's week one. Freaky stuff happens week one. But this doesn't look like a fluke. This team looks like it's in, in serious trouble. And we're going to go again to Vegas next week against a pissed off Raiders team that once again lost to the Chargers. It's going to be their home opener. They're going to be pissed. Unlike them, they'll probably play much better at home than we ever will. Our last home win was back in week seven against the Texans. Haven't won at home since. So, yeah, there's no home field advantage despite the fact that our fans turn out for a team that doesn't give a damn about them. This, this has to be a wake-up call. Maybe, maybe, you know what? Maybe this is a sign. Maybe things go complete, com, completely flip itself this time around. Maybe instead of doing great the first half of the season and absolutely falling flat on their butts the second half, maybe we're just garbage the first half of the season. Then we figure it out the second half of the season and go on a very strong playoff run. Maybe that happens. Maybe I'm dumb and don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That was embarrassing. I expected the loss, but that was flat out embarrassing. We got we got our back waxed today. The only good thing that can come out if we end up just choking this entire season away, doing absolutely terrible six and eleven, five and twelve, whatever it is, seven and ten, whatever the record may be at the end of the season. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but if we end up having a really piss poor season, the only good that can ever come out of that is both Kingsbury and Kime are out of here. I don't understand why Bidwell decided last this offseason it was a great idea to give him a contract extension. This is a wake up call for everybody on this team, including Bidwell, our owner. I'm hoping to God results are not the same next week against Vegas. I, I don't know if we're going to win that game against Vegas, but at least show me a sign that week one was a freaking fluke. <sighs> Pray for me. Pray for me. That's my ass. Go cards.